If you're in the market for a battery electric vehicle, the BMW i3 would be an excellent choice. I think uh, the first i3 came out right around in 2014, so this is definitely not a new electric vehicle. In fact, uh, BMW, in a way, uh, is also an EV pioneer, maybe not as early as Tesla, uh, but 2014 is pretty early on for battery electric vehicles, so making this 2018 definitely not old technology. Um, it's actually pretty amazing technology, uh, where a lot of uh, you know similar EVs uh, in 2018, uh, you know, stuff that like the Hyundai Kona, and even the uh, the Chevy Bolt, those are actually uh, platforms based off of gas cars. But the BMW, the BMW i3 was designed and built from the ground up to be a battery electric vehicle. So uh, sometimes when you try to uh, you know take a, a gas engine platform and convert it to electric vehicle, it leaves some stuff lost in translation. It's not most the efficient way to do it because they might look similar on the outside, but battery electric vehicles, the way you build them, you construct them, are very, very different than uh, gas powered vehicles. They might have four wheels and doors and steering wheels, but uh, once you get past that, uh, the similarities quickly start to disappear. Um, this one has a fully charged range of about 100 miles. So obviously this is not a type of EV you're gonna go road tripping in. It's more of a commuter. It is capable of uh, DC fast charging. So, you know, if you can find a charging station at the mall, they're popping up everywhere, parking garages. Uh, you can go shopping, go to work and uh, fill, up the, uh, fill up the battery. And uh, obviously you can set up charging at home. This thing is very smooth, very quiet, very beautiful. Obviously it's a BMW. This thing is built to very high standards. Uh, you feel like you're in a premium luxury vehicle. The fit and finish, the build quality is definitely up there with BMW's gas powered vehicles. In a lot of ways, as far as you know, smoothness, quietness goes, it's superior. This thing has no vibrations. Uh, it's very, very quiet and it's extremely smooth. And it's actually very quick too. I think the uh, output's about 180 horsepower. And, uh, you know, there's no gear changing. When you hit the accelerator, you just have instant throttle response. This thing takes right off. It's actually pretty fun to drive. Um, and BMW was thinking about, uh, you know, thinking green. When designing the i3, you can see like the, uh, some of the materials that they use to construct the interior are uh, biodegradable. So when this thing is, uh, life is done and it's ready to go into the scrap heap, these uh, things will, you know, biodegrade completely and not put, uh, you know, further wear on our, uh, you know, ecosystem. Uh, I think that also applies as well with the seat fabric. Really nice, very comfortable. I like the contrasting colors. This is the uh, Giga trim level. And even though this is a pretty small vehicle, um, it doesn't feel small on the inside because uh, the floor is completely flat and the layout of it is an EV. Uh, you're not limited to a lot of the, uh, you know, the limitations you have of a gas powered vehicle and the way it's constructed. So you have a lot of interior space in a pretty small vehicle. I'm six foot two. I have plenty of space up here. You're pretty high up too off the ground. So you have great visibility. Um, which is a nice thing too. You don't feel like you know everyone's towering above you in a little commuter vehicle. This thing actually feels a lot bigger than it, you know it looks on the outside. Um, you have a screen right here that tells you how fast you're going. This has 36,961 36, miles. Uh, uh, current range is 71 miles. And then you have a screen here. I like the kind of way it kind of suspends in the middle of the dashboard. Uh, this one has navigation. Um, we have a rear parking camera as well as front rear parking sensors. Uh, really easy control to use. You have park, you have drive, neutral, and reverse, and then you have your on and off switch. Very, very easy to use. I uh, like the design of the steering wheel. Also, uh, looking further at the construction of the vehicle, you can see here that uh, they use a carbon fiber uh, material to construct the whole body shell. So the body shell is very strong. Carbon fiber is generally small, uh, stronger than steel, but a lot lighter. Uh, in fact, uh, just the body shell alone is so light, two people can lift it up. Uh, also very, very strong. And uh, having the, these, uh, the, the way the doors open, it allows for pretty easy access to the rear seats. And you know, this is a small car, but the rear seat space is not that bad as well. There's the uh, charger as well. Uh, we took this one in trade for a Mustang Mach-E. Uh, the customer is very fond of this vehicle. Um, you know, she's you know, definitely uh, moving up to a Mach-E, so it's a newer you know, EV technology, obviously more expensive than this. 
uh, longer range. But she loved this car. She actually even named it. Its name was Oreo, which you can probably guess by uh, the color combo combination how she came up with that. But uh, uh, if you happen to buy it and you want to, you know, keep under the name, <laughs> uh, this car is called Oreo. Uh, I like to name my cars. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of a, a family thing. I don't know if that's what you like to do, but uh, sometimes it's fun to do that. Gives the car a little character. Uh, there's the original owner's manual. Obviously a decent amount of cargo space. It is a small vehicle, but of course you can fold down the seats uh, for even more cargo space. And this thing's in beautiful shape inside and out. Looks like it's got nearly new tires on it. And um, the one thing about uh, battery electric vehicles that people don't always uh, realize is that you're not just going to save money on uh, gas, you know, versus electricity. You're going to save money on maintenance because uh, there's a lot less moving parts. There's a lot less things to break and service on an EV such as this. Um, so, you know, you'll find that, uh, you know, service uh, visits will be a little bit further apart. And then uh, the cost of servicing, it's going to be very, very different. You know, if you compare this to like a BMW 3 Series, you know, you go to a BMW dealership every 15, 30,000 miles, they're going to, you know, <laughs> a lot of times, you know, the service departments, the, 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 you know, their profit-making centers are going to try to upsell you. So they'll say, oh, you know, maybe you should do an EFI service or a fuel system system, system service. Those can be two, three hundred dollars. Uh, eventually, you might need spark plugs. Uh, there's things that can go wrong with uh, gas cars, like, you know, catalytic converters can go bad. They can get stolen. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to, you know, replace timing belts. Um, you know, there's uh, oil to change. There's oil to leak. There's coolant to leak. Uh, you know, these are all things that you're not going to have to deal with on a battery electric vehicle um, and then brakes you know uh, you'll probably never have to do brakes in this thing because uh, with regenerative braking it takes the energy that you normally lose through heat through the brakes and it uh, reverses the polarity of the electric motor so uh, with regenerative braking uh, it slows down the vehicle and it recaptures that energy and puts it back in the battery you know helping make it more efficient and also you know making it almost never <laughs> maybe like at 150,000 miles you might have to do brakes and brakes aren't cheap either you know sometimes brakes can be a thousand fifteen hundred dollars just for a set of front or rear brakes um, so there you go uh, if you're thinking about getting an EV the BMW i3 is a great uh, EV to consider we've sold many of them they've proven to be very reliable uh, I actually think they you know this is my opinion this is anecdotal it's not a scientific fact but they seem to be more reliable than similarly uh, gas powered uh, BMW products is just you know less to go wrong with them it was my conclusion, so that's definitely something to think about. Thanks so much. Hope to see you soon, and have a wonderful day.